Hi there. So for this video, um, I'm going like I said, I'm going to test uh, the uh, the range of motion of the mandible, which is the bone here. Um, this is the uh, TMJ, right? Temporal mandibular joint, which the mandible is a portion of it. Which you know our mouth opens by our mandible depressing, right? Going this way. If you notice, like our mouth doesn't go up that way, right? It doesn't. Like only our lips or even our head. But it's the mouth, it's the mandible that depresses it. So now we're gonna test the range of the depression. How how is that um uh, is it hypomobility? If there's hypomobility, there's limited range of motion in the um TMJ, or if it's hypermobility, which is uh, rarely the case, but there is some in instances that like that, cases like that, is hypermobility of the TMJ uh, due to some, maybe perhaps some fixation or over translation of the TMJ. But what we're going to do is we're going to instruct the client to put three knuckles. We're going to do make a fist. In this instance, because I don't have a model today, um, he left. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get uh, my, my daughters to be my model. So you were gonna make a fist and we're gonna try to put in this instance, I'm the client as well. I'm gonna put my three um, knuckles in my mouth. And in, in this case, I don't have any um, high comability on my TMJ um, because I was able to put the three knuckles. If you're not able to put um, three knuckles, let's say you only been able to put one or, or none, that means you are positive for um, uh, the three knuckle test, meaning that um, you are not able to depress the mandible wide enough because there's some limitation in your TMJ. Okay, next, next uh, video will be the virtual artery test. Okay.